girlfriends friends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today we're going to be trying out some ingenious products. And guess what? All of them are around $5. So this is a 3-in-1 avocado slicer knife. So we have the knife here, it's got a sharp-ish tip. And then we have this thing which is supposed to help take out the seed. And then this for you to scoop and slice your avocado at the same time. I'm terribly excited about this. Okay, actually, all this you can do pretty simply with a knife. <laughs> It just feels like, wow, you really thought about everything. <laughs> okay, so let's try this out. Nice. Yes. Wow. Very exciting. <laughs> I don't cook. I don't do this kind of thing very often. I'm pretty sure it's not my fault. <laughs> Have you ever seen anyone butcher an avocado? Actually, maybe it's this avocado, you know. The seed is like super stuck. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Cannot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try again on another avocado. Hopefully, I managed to split it at the right point so that I can give this seed extracting part a fair go. Ah! You know what? Maybe this one's just not right. This one just like... It's not me. <laughs> Ah, it works! Oh, I think you're supposed to like poke something in here to poke the seed out and not do that because that looks dangerous. Okay, so now we try with this. Mm. <laughs> Is it supposed to be like this? Oh, so it's supposed to scoop and cut at the same time. Well, it's not. It's mushing it. <laughs> Avocado is not right. <laughs> it's very hard. It's not my fault. I swear. Alright, so how do I feel about this avocado slicer knife thing? Okay, well the knife works. This part really amazed me. I mean at first when we started shaving, <laughs> I was like, that's not it's not okay. But it came off super easy with this. So that part works really well. I think it's very smart that they have this hole here for you to push the seed out. Avocados come in many different shapes and sizes, right? And this is not going to fit all avocados. And also these, right, they're not super sharp. So just now as I was pulling out the avocado, it just felt a little bit like it wasn't a clean slice and a clean scoop. It won't be able to fit a lot of different sized avocados. I'm not sure. I feel like this might create a bit more of a mess. So I think overall I would give this uh, well it's three parts. I feel only this part really worked so I would give it a three. I think you would really need to eat a lot of avocados for this to make sense. This is a portable moving rope. It's supposed to help you move heavy objects more easily. This is interesting. Let's try this. This is the bottle from the office uh, water dispenser. Wow, that really does work. <laughs> but where would I carry it? <laughs> where's my Where's my end goal? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh no, it really happened. Oh shit. Oh no. Okay, I think I have my verdict. A very loud, clear verdict. This gets a zero if like, I might even give it like a minus because actually, you know, I kind of had the feeling that might happen but then I thought maybe there's something about this that keeps it more steady than I can imagine but I realised after you lift it, right, there is no way to balance this thing. It's literally balancing on this strip. That's it. I think it needs to be across and then somehow you link like all four handles together and you hold it from the common point and I feel like that would give you some kind of balance. Whereas for this, like, it gives you no balance at all. I don't know, I, yeah, I'll give this a zero. <laughs> so this is the 4-in-1 Handy Anti-Slip Can Lid Opener. Now this is kind of cool because they have four general sizes, but they do feel like they expand 
ever so slightly. Okay, let's start with this delicious looking chilli. So, it will not actually fit here. It's slightly bigger than the whole. And it's too small for this. But, this will sort of expand. And then, I will have to... Look at that. What a snug fit. Oh! <laughs> okay, so... Ta-da! Okay, that was actually really easy to open. Okay, let's try something else. Oh, I love these. Pickled lettuce. If you haven't tried this before, you really should. Alright, let's try this. Wow! Oh my god, this thing is so good! I need one of this in my home! Wow, I feel so strong. Oh, this is like fun. Okay, this one. Oh, hey! Wow! This is amazing! Alright, I am currently very, very impressed. But you know what? I have jars at home that I have not been able to open. So, I'm gonna take this home to try. Alright guys, I am at home and now I have a jar that I have been trying to open for a really long time. So now I'm gonna try it with this thing. Alright, I hope this fits. Because I really, I really wanna try this. It's a... Oh no, I think it's too big. <gasps> okay. No. Oh, can no. No fit. It keeps sliding off. Okay, it can't fit. Oh well. It works for a variety of shapes. And it does help when it fits. Unfortunately, it does not fit this. It kind of fits, right? And then... And it slides off. Overall, I would give this like an 8. An 8 out of 10. Because it, it really does work. Yeah, maybe you need to bring to the supermarket and kind of match it with the jar that you're getting in case you get a jar that's hard to open. I don't know. <laughs> So this is a prawn peeler, and if you have to peel many, many prawns in a row, this might come in handy, and this thing is easy jazz. So here we have some cooked prawns, and then we have some raw prawns. I'm going to start with the cooked prawns first. I suppose put this in here, get it all the way to the end. Okay, you know what, I'm just going to try this first. exactly what the video seemed to do, Maski. <laughs> Cause the prawn overcooked is it? <laughs> the shell star. <laughs> ah, that did not peel. No, not even close. Can I just say, I'm not great in the kitchen. But one of my skills is that I can peel a prawn with a fork and knife. And also chopsticks and spoon. Little victories in life lah. Huh? Oh, there we go, there we go. Ooh! All right, okay, so it's split here, and it's split here, and it's split here. So now, we pull off the shell. This is good because it kind of gets the legs as well. Okay, I would say that for cooked prawns, I'm not sure, because it feels like you have to manhandle the prawn quite a bit. Okay, so let's try with the raw prawns. I have a feeling that with raw prawn, it'll be easier because the shell is not so stuck to the meat. No, that didn't really do much. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna try another one. Oh, okay. There we go. So as you go in, it's already pushing it out. Right. And then this is just kind of like a gentle nudge, in a way. There we go. This prawn peeler, um, I'm feeling like I'm not really feeling it. This part here, right, was actually really hard to get into the prawn. There was a considerable amount of shoving that needed to happen. I didn't think that this was very useful at all. I feel like I'm faster with like my knife and fork or fork and spoon or chopstick and spoon. Yeah, I would give this a zero. This is the Magic High Oil Absorption Nano Sponge. Apparently, you can use this to wash dishes without any soap and it will get rid of all the grease and the gunk. That's crazy. It feels so unassuming. Like, you know how sometimes you get packages and then they cut out the shape and then they put it there so it's kind of just there so the bottle doesn't move around. It kind of feels like that kind of sponge. And you know what? This thing costs 97 cents. That's crazy. Okay, we're gonna have to try this and see if it really works. 
Since the camera's on this side, hello from me and my pimples. Thank you, Masni. <laughs> All right, so we've melted some butter on this pan, made it oily, and it actually smells really good. So we're gonna test how good this sponge is at getting all of this off. Whoa. Okay, so let's just have a little feel and see how it feels at the moment. Whoa, that feels kind of clean. Eh? Eh? So overall, this pan feels really clean. Like, squeaky clean. I mean, there's some parts, but I, I think it might be my washing skills. There's some parts that are not totally, but it's like, I would say 95% grease-free, which is amazing. Mainly considering the fact that it's not using any dishwashing agents or anything like that, it's just purely the sponge, I think that's insane. Okay, but here's the thing, it removes all the grease, but the thing with soaps is that they're supposed to kill bacteria as well. So that's something that I'm not entirely sure about. But I guess if you use this just as the first step to get rid of all the grease and then you do another cleanse with soap, I guess it helps you to reduce the amount and the strength of the dishwashing liquid that you use, then I think it's a great solution. Um, I would not use this on its own. So overall, um, just to get rid of grease, I would give this uh, a 10 out of 10. Like, no soap there. That's insane! This is a high-tech magic cleaning tool and it's supposed to remove rust. So here we have a tool that is covered in rust. It's very funny because it says high-tech, but then packaging is very not high-tech. <laughs> okay, so let's try this out. So I'm supposed to peel off this Part. Okay, this kind of feels a little bit like waxy or gummy. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's really stiff and the fibres are like super fine. They recommend that you wear gloves while using this, so I'm gonna wear my gloves. So you're supposed to wet this and then... It actually is kind of coming off eh. Wow, it's really coming off. The difference, you see, when I first saw it and the amount of rust that was, I didn't think there was any way in hell to be able to take it off. But it is, it's coming off. You can see part of the metal underneath. So I feel like if you start early and start fast, you'd be able to keep it rust-free with this. It looks very low-tech, but the effect is quite good, man. And so now you're supposed to like cut off all the bits that have turned brown and you can use again next time. One thing that I would change about this is all of this brush part is the part that takes off the rust, correct? But you'll still need a handle, right? So I feel you only have maybe one, two, like three uses out of this. I'm very impressed by how well this works. I'm still not really sure why they've put pictures of kitchen appliances. I'm thinking that it's like the copper stains that sometimes you get on kettles or like whatever. So I have a feeling that this would be to take those off. There is definitely a difference between the side that has been cleaned and the side that hasn't. And I guess if it's meant for cooking appliances, I feel like it could be really effective there. So overall, I think I would give it a uh, 8 out of 10 because it's very affordable and also pretty effective. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. Now, if you want to find out more about the products, how much they cost, where to get them from, you can go to our Tried and Tested Facebook page or you can check out the links in the description box down below. And if you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. Now, all you need to do is hit that bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes onto YouTube. Or you can just download the Click Network app and you'll be able to watch the videos before they come out onto YouTube. Alright, till next time, go be beautiful!